been with me for a while, you know that I am a novice to this whole makeup process, but I feel like I'm coming along rather nicely. It's getting better. Hi dolls, Miss Naturally Mary here once again and today I'm here to do my first ever get ready with me video. I have not ever done one of those on my channel and I thought why not, let's do it today. I'm showing you all how I prep for my day, how I went about blending my hair with this new hair by Heritage 1933. I feel that this hair is just beautiful. So I start off by prepping my face, I do that with Elf poreless primer as well as baby skin by Maybelline. Next I go in with my MAC Studio Fix foundation and I'm in a color NW50. I just use my flat top Real Techniques brush to blend that. My skin gets pretty oily throughout the day so I also apply pressed powder and this is by Black Opal. This is their oil absorbing pressed powder. Now in order to bring more color and dimension to my face, I begin highlighting. I use a mix of two products. I use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in color NC45 as well as LA Girl Pro Concealer and that is in color medium beige. I like to spray my beauty blender with water so that I have a finish that is free of streaks and it gives me a dewy finish as my makeup application process unfolds. So spraying your beauty blender with water is a great rule of thumb. I used to do it dry and I noticed that I was having spots here and there and it wasn't blending as well as I wanted it to. So once I began using water, it just really helped with this process. I like to take the excess concealer that's left on my beauty blender to contour my jawbone area. This helps to make for a slimmer look. I have been eating quite interesting lately and this really helps me out a lot. <laughs> y'all know y'all do this too? I generally begin the baking process prior to applying my eyeshadow. So then by the time I'm completely finished with my eyeshadow application, my baking process is pretty much done. So I don't have to wait. It kind of just saves me on the wait time. So right now I'm just starting the baking process. Cook, baby, cook. I just wanna live One of my subscribers suggested this product to me for contouring, which is the Ebony Bronzer by CoverGirl and this is the Queen Collection. I did not have good results when I initially started my whole makeup process using this product, but it was because I was not highlighting. So now that I'm highlighting, this product shows up so much more now and I use it all the time. So whoever that subscriber was, thank you so much. That was such a good suggestion. Okay, y'all, so comment below if you do this as well. I know I'm not the only one. So I use eyeshadow to further contour and give me a face that looks like I have lost 10 pounds. Yeah. I discovered that you can use eyeshadow to contour. I've been looking for palettes that are dark and that really give me that sculpted face that I really want. And I just resorted to using something that I already had in my cupboard. So I just started using the Wet n Wild Mega Icon, I don't even know what it's called. But I started using that palette that I just showed you all in order to further sculpt out my face. So many crashes to crash my heart. So many pieces to fill up my heart. But love is when it fades. It's as much as you can choose as mine. Be sure to satisfy. Forever and ever, I'm gonna be a 
quick disclaimer my wing liner is still going through process it is mm, struggling just a bit I'm not there some of you guys I know are killing the wing I, I'm not there yet I'm still I'm still developing it's it's getting better it's not there yet though but progress is good <laughs> yeah it's not there That's my word, I'm so impatient, don't wanna be waiting forever And if there's somebody for everybody, then where's my somebody? Cause the hope for romantic inside won't die, no Now let's talk about this fabulous hair. This is Heritage 1933 Fro Coil Texture and I'm wearing Lens 16. I have only two bundles. You all know I usually wear three bundles of hair but I was able to create this look with only two. And guys, it blends so well with my hair. I was nervous. I did a wash and go on this hair and I was not sure if I was going to be able to blend my hair with it because of how it looked while it was wet. But when it dried, it looked, oh, it looks fierce. <laughs> I'll leave all the deets down below related to this hair and all the products that I use in this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this makeup look as well as me blend my hair with this new type of hair and also showing you all what outfit that I'm wearing. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this and I'll be sure to get those up for you guys. Love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. I can't ignore